Hello my dudes, welcome back to the vlog channel. We are here with another newly review, or as somebody recently commented, newly review -ly. This is for February and I don't know how I feel about this month's choices, but the month flew by and now here I am ready to show you what I picked out before I hurry to the UPS store to return them. In case you haven't seen these videos before, newly is a clothing rental service. It is $88 per month for six items. You can pay more for extra items if you want. Sometimes it is less if you have a referral code. By the way, if you guys wanna use my code, you can get a discount, I'll get a discount, and I can continue making these videos without having to pay full price. Thank you. I've been doing this for a while now, so let's get into it. I'm already wearing my first piece and some funky pants that I got on ThreadUp. These are a statement. All right, let's look at this sweater. This is the Maggie Mixed Stitch Turtleneck from Urban Outfitters, size medium. Retail price $59, newly priced $48.38. And I knew from the picture that it was cropped, but it is very cropped. <laughs> I have the front tucked into my pants because I honestly was never able to find jeans that were high enough to not show my whole belly. And when it's winter in New York, I don't really want to show my belly. My sweater should be warm. But did I think this through when I was picking this item? Not really. <laughs> it's very cropped, even in the back. You can see. So unfortunately, I never actually wore this during the month, except, well, I may have worn it once. But it did not make an appearance in a video or anything. It's comfy, aside from being too short. It's fine for wearing around the house, but for actual practical wear, might be a little too breezy for the winter. This month, for some reason, I picked a lot of these gathered neck turtlenecks. So like, you don't have the usual problem of a tight turtleneck that strangles you, but instead you've got this like, it looks cute on the model, and then you try to figure out how to handle the bunching fabric, and it's just like, is this ugly? <laughs> Does this look bad? And as you're gonna see, I made this mistake, not once, <laughs> not even twice, many times. Again, it was cute, it was a choice. I tried it, but didn't really give it a chance, and that's a shame. Let's get on to some other ones. Okay, <laughs> um, so this again, it was a choice. That's what this video is gonna be called. It was a choice. I think what happened was I ran out of time to pick items that were actually well thought out and I just rushed. I think one of you asked if I could make a video about how I pick my newly every month and I'm going to do that soon. But essentially I have a bunch of stuff stored in my closet on newly, which is like all the items that I've liked before. So I usually go through there, see what's available. Sometimes items aren't available when I go to actually check out my newly because they're already being rented. So sometimes that changes, even sometimes when it's in the cart, it'll be taken away before I can check out. So sometimes I have these last minute changes and I just go, oh, that's a thing, let's try it. Also, you have your unlock date and you're supposed to return your newly before then and then you have time to pick out your new stuff and then it unlocks, then you can check out. So usually I'm running late I return my newly a little late and then it doesn't get unlocked until that date and also when your last newly was turned in if that makes sense so then I'm in even more of a rush because that's the start of your billing date and if I don't hurry and pick my new items I'm just wasting my own next few weeks of that newly box if that makes sense if that makes sense that makes sense okay it does <laughs> it does so this month Clearly, I was in the mood for chunky sweaters, which, okay, yes, I usually love a sweater, um, but this is like skiing in Aspen, cozy cabin vibes, and that is not what I did this month. Does this even look better, French tucked, or worse? I'm wearing it with my um, wide leg striped pants, and actually, the color on the pants does tie in well with the color on this sweater. And again, this one has this chunky, loose neck that I thought I would like, and it turns out I don't like, because sometimes it looks cute, sometimes it falls well, and then sometimes it looks weird as shit. So, oh, hello, hi, there's a closet there. Here's the back. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> Do you ever just cough and choke for no reason? Um, wow. Well, 
the color of this may or may not be your vibe. It's like a green tinted yellow. Uh, <laughs> I'm just regretting everything. Now, is this comfortable? Yes. Did I ever wear it this month? No. Therefore, did I waste my money? Yes. There's really no bright side when I realize I'm just burning money like a big idiot and I could have worn something cute. <laughs> Instead, I did this. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. What is this item? This is the Greater Than sweater from Free People, size extra small. By the way, if you don't know Free People sizing, I've rented a lot of stuff from them through Newly, and you always have to size down because this, this is an extra small. And my usual size and things that I think are sized appropriately is like a smaller medium in tops. This is an extra small from Free People. Okay, so I'm glad I sized down. Let's look at that price. Oh, let's hear it. Let's freaking hear it. Retail 148, newly priced 68.08. It's a no. It's a no. We already knew it. It's a no. Next, did any of you also watch that classic MTV dating show? Next, you're gonna get nexted. One second you step off the bus, next. I don't like your frosted tips. It was brutal back then, <laughs> you know? My hair is suffering. It's still very staticky and changing in and out of these knit sweaters is really messing with it. Okay, so <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Um, okay. Balloon sleeves, tight at the wrist, uh, black and white checkeredy. I'll never know the difference between different checkered and plaid patterns, by the way. We'll never know. And then a neck that I believe is far too open. Am I the only person who like absolutely hates a neckline like this? Like it's not deep enough to give any anything and it's not tight enough to make sense in my opinion. And it's not a turtleneck, so points off for that. But like, could this sweater even handle being a turtleneck on top of that? Honestly, why not? Go for it. Wow, what the fuck was I thinking? What was I thinking? Why did I choose this? I saw the photo and I said, yeah, that looks great. Could I be in musical theater, you guys? I never really was. I mean, what? I, I did one play, uh, The California Gold Rush, fourth grade. I was one of the lead roles, of course. Um, beyond that, okay, let's really take a a mean hard look at this. What's the back like? Like, okay, in terms of length, I like it. That's a good length. It's short, but not like cropped. Not like, let's show my Casper White winter belly to everybody. Um, the balloon sleeves, I, I think they were fun. Like I was imagining, like look at this movement, kind of, um, you know, a kind of this vibe. And yeah, I tried to wear this once, put it on and realized, no, I don't even want to wear that around the house. That's how bad it is. Regrets, regrets. This is the Sophia sweater from Jen's Pirate Booty brand. Actually, okay. This is giving me Jen's Pirate Booty vibes. Not even Pirate's Booty, like the delicious snack that's unfortunately not vegan. And who is Jen? Who is Sophia? So many questions. Size extra small, small. Again, in sizing, you never know. Extra small, small? I'm like, no, nah, not even, I don't know. I hate combo sizing like that, by the way, because like extra small, small, medium, large. I'm like, oh, no love for the small, medium people. <laughs> I can't choose between these. Sizing is all fucked up. That is the theme of all these videos about clothing, by the way. It's not our fault. It's the brands. It's the sizing. It's the arbitrary decisions. Sorry if you can hear my feet squeaking on the floor. Um, yeah, that's, those are my toes <laughs> on the wood floor. Okay, looking at this picture. Look at this picture of this adorable model. She's all over Newly. She makes everything look cute. I love the hair. I love the bangs. If I could ever look like anything, I think I wanted to look like this. I wanted to have slightly curly hair and be able to pull off that cute little short hair bangs curly look and maybe not be quite as ghostly pale as I am, but whatever, <laughs> it's just how I was made. Look at how cute she looks. She's like, oh, cute, like holding the little sleeves and they don't look that bad. So obviously I saw this photo and I was like, oh, that's cute. And again, yeah, ooh, red, that's a fun color that I don't wear very often, but you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me. A picture says a thousand words 
And those thousand words were lies. Retail 155, newly priced 7284. I don't care how low you price it. I would never buy this top, never again. Next time I see a balloon sleeve, please remember this moment. <laughs> okay, um, hey, what's up? I'm back with another. <laughs> it's like, why? Okay, but here's the thing. I did wear this one. I wore it in my last podcast episode. So <laughs> I did it. I wore it. It is comfy. It's incredibly comfy. And I wanted to get some use out of it. So here it is. Very baggy, very cropped though. It's just, this is the shortest that it can go and be acceptable because there's the pants, here's the sweater. It's okay. But if I'm careful, it doesn't show my belly. So that's fine. It goes up pretty high in the back though. Like cool it what are you doing it's winter i don't want to breeze anywhere whatever the next situation again this is just how i put it on and how it fell but like how is one supposed to wear these okay let's try some strategies let's do the inside out roll so the bottom comes here and then what do you do do you just leave it round or do you try to pull it I feel like I need the Queer Eye guys, tan, to just come and like zhuzh it and somehow it'll fall perfectly. And then he'll tell me to do a French tuck. I listen, I listen to that. But that doesn't look very good. So then I tried this once and it was horrific. Inside. The inside tuck? This is cursed. Partial inside tuck. Okay, no. That's a full, full inner tuck. I'm just experimenting with fashion. Why am I trying? As if... I'm trying to make it look good, as if you guys haven't seen it at its worst. But anyway, this one's not that bad. Again, it's it's giving me a little bit of, um, is this like an 80s or 90s kind of sweater print? Is it trying to be a little bit vintage-y? I don't know, skiing in Aspen. Skiing in Aspen at our private chalet. Skiing in Aspen. For so long, I didn't know where Aspen was, and I knew of that phrase, skiing in Aspen, and I thought it was like in... Switzerland or something. Took me a long time to figure out it's in Colorado, apparently. Colorado. Still don't know how to pronounce that state. What's wrong? <laughs> okay, this is the Jupiter pullover from Free People. Free People, you specialize in these funky little choices. Size small. I don't know if maybe an extra small was not available. In, in terms of the size, I don't mind it. Obviously it's meant to be a little oversized, so that was okay. Retail 148, newly priced 66.59. And here in the photo, it looks nice and casual, tucked in, a little slouchy. It looks cute. Let's try to tuck it. <laughs> I have to pull it completely forward to even get enough material to, to tuck. And then what, put them, put them in your pockets and then stand like this? Anyway, I don't like it that much, so. Okay. Here's the thing. Remember those delicious green pants, the gingham goals pants? I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should just size up and then it could be great and then I could buy them, right? So I went to get them and the green ones were unavailable, but these white and blue ones or cream and blue were available. And I was like, mm, I don't love that color, but maybe I can see if the sizing works and then I'll try the green ones next time. <laughs> just keep renting these pants to try to see if they work. This is one of the worst pairs of pants that I have ever tried on. It is so stretched out. The material is nothing like the other pair. The other pair was like structured and tight. This one is like very loose and stretched out, different, more like cloth feeling. Um, don't even want to show you my butt because it's just going to look weird. This one does not have pockets on the back, but the pockets in the front, look at this. They're so deep for some reason. Like usually I would love big deep pockets, but like these are placed in a weird place and they're also too big for these pants. So that's strange. These are definitely not just a different color version of the other pants. They're just different all around and they're terrible, frankly. I was so disappointed when I tried these on because they're just horrible, genuinely horrible. It's annoying because they fit well around the waist and everything. If the fabric was different, if the fit was different, if everything was different, it might have worked out. And I know a lot of these sweaters were like not good, but this one was truly a waste of an item because these are just 
terrible. So these are the Gingham Goals pants from Capulet, size medium, except they're a lie and I should have listened to the reviews because the reviews said that it was a different material and that it fit differently, but I thought that they were just being exaggerative or something. Always listen to the reviews. Retail 150, newly priced 90.06. These are the worst. These are the worst. I have to leave a review actually. I should take a picture in these and leave a review and tell them, no, don't do it. Anyway, time for the last item. Let's freaking go. And the last item, you've seen it before, baby. The delicious green turtleneck. One that actually fits nicely. And the neck is not bad, let me show you. I've worn it like this, I think, tucked down, which I really like because, I mean, at this point, it's barely a turtleneck, but I like that I don't have to deal with being choked by a turtleneck. It's not pleasant. Kind of takes some of the fun away. Okay, I messed up this angle because now I'm like crouching to be visible. This sweater was the one I wore in my obnoxious closets of the Super Rich video, and I got a lot of compliments. <laughs> and I've gotta say, feels nice. Yeah, overall, I mean, I tried it on and I was like, oh, this is great. This is like a go-to turtleneck. It fits nicely. It's comfortable. It's not too warm or too cool. And I do love the color. I actually don't own anything in this shade of green. Earth tones only. It's a good addition to the wardrobe. Now here is my question. First, let's talk about it. This is the sweater rib turtleneck from La Casa, size extra small, retail $88, newly priced $61.59. Here's the thing, you guys, you dudes, <laughs> y'all, folks. I kind of want to buy it. Should I do it? By the time you're watching this, I already made a decision, but I kind of have to decide right now because I need to return the newly stuff. I did do a quick search, as I always do, uh, on whether I could find this sweater in this size on other resale platforms for a cheaper price than Newly's offering, and I couldn't. So, hmm, $62. Ordinarily, I would say, no, I'm not spending $62 on one turtleneck. But I feel like I've been boosted by those compliments of people saying, oh my god, this sweater looks so good on you, I love that color on you, that now I'm like, oh, I have to keep it. I have to, because the people said, and not just that, I'm not just gonna wear it for other people, but as I said, it's a solid to neck, you guys. Um, I feel like it's a good thickness. It's not too thick, not too thin. I mean, it does kind of show my bralette under here. It might get a little nippy if I don't wear a heavier bra, but I really like it. I might buy it. I'll let you know if I bought it. And now you know. <laughs> anyway, that is this month's Newly. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I didn't. <laughs> I enjoyed, I enjoyed this sweater for sure. I enjoyed one of these other ones a little and the rest of them were disappointments. But honestly, who can I blame except myself? Can I blame the models for making bad items of clothing look good? Not really. I take full responsibility. Now very soon I'm gonna have to pick my new items, which is always interesting. So maybe I will bring you guys along for that process. This month, actually, I asked people on Instagram to do a little newly shopping for me and send me some items that were different, that they think I should try, that might be out of my comfort zone that I usually wouldn't choose or consider. So maybe March is newly might be a little weird, might be a little funky, but I think that's fun. Hopefully I can still find stuff that's wearable and still looks good on me though, because again, the ultimate point of me doing this is not just to make reaction videos or review videos. Ideally, all of these items would actually be useful while I'm renting them for that month so that uh, I'm not completely wasting money. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you second channel viewers so much. I appreciate your comments. Please leave me a comment. I love having our little, little more intimate space here. I love that you uh, enjoy watching me try on or talk about clothing because <laughs> I don't get to do it very often. Anyway, thank you so much. I'm hungry now. I can't stop looking at myself and being like, should I get this sweater? Once again, if you wanna try out newly, use my freaking code, please. Thank you so much. That is all. Okay, thanks, bye. Oops, I'm back. Hi, just wanted to leave a little message for those of you who watched the whole video. Honestly, it was hard to edit this video. First of all, one of my eyebrows, this one, this one, this one looked terrible on camera, especially. Um, and then my makeup, I did this eyeshadow and there was so much fallout underneath that I didn't notice until editing. And it makes me look like I have like, you know, dark circles all around my eye. I don't know if you noticed.
So as soon as I was checking the footage, I was like, I look like shit. I look like shit. And then these videos are always a little bit hard for me just because it's really hard for me to look at myself from different angles that I don't usually see myself from. With my regular main channel sit down videos, it's like I strategically place the camera in a way, an angle that's a little more flattering. But yeah, it's tough when I'm having a bad body image time and I want to make these videos because I think they're fun and I know that you guys enjoy them. But it's hard to again, look at myself from different angles, or especially when I'm wearing clothing that I don't think makes me look or feel cute. Anyway, I, did, I was gonna start the video off with a little clip like this, just saying like, oh, sorry for my eyebrows and sorry my makeup looks bad, sorry. It's like, I don't wanna have to apologize for how I look in a video. I think that's fucked up. But also I wanted to add this at the end because I just wanna talk about this process. It is a total mind fuck to constantly be listening to my own voice, looking at my own face and my body on camera, and usually it doesn't bother me that much, but there definitely are days where it does. And so, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video because that's why I made it. Anyway, I know a lot of people are going through similar things, especially through quarantine. It's been a weird, tough time in a million ways, but when it comes to how we are feeling and existing in our bodies, our relationships to our appearances, what we do for ourselves versus what we do as a performance or for others. Probably didn't expect to see this whole little clip at the end of a newly review. But anyway, thank you for watching and hopefully next time I'll be in a better headspace to enjoy editing March's newly. Okay, thanks, bye!